Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome back. Another uh, walk along here. And then we get going here. Beautiful day. Beautiful day for a little walk along. I'm not going to do any calisthenics. Uh, I'm just going to take it easy today. So I'm just going to walk around the block, get my daily sunshine, my daily walking. I'm doing this on the gimbal with my other Galaxy Note 3. And so, uh, hope you all enjoy it. Nice, bright, sunny day. Cloudy. It's always cloudy. Slight, slight chance of rain. That's kind of like typical summer out in uh, Houston. Cloudy with a chance of rain. Mostly humid. Feels a little drier today. But uh, pools are open somewhere. Somewhere there's a pool open. So I'm not too worried about it. So hopefully you had a chance to all watch the videos that I made with my Insta360 One camera, the 360 degree camera. Wow, I'm glad I found out about that. That makes my life so much easier in making videos. Um, and now I enjoy making videos. It's uh, a lot easier, a lot more fun to do all this. So. Anyways, uh, I'll talk about Insta360. Well, let me just talk about it right now. So what I found was um, it is great for post-production editing, especially if you don't want to carry like 10 different cameras or do 10 different takes of you walking and, or doing whatever action you're doing or everything. You can do kind of things at once and get it all done and then Come back later and and edit that and uh, that's how easy it is um, of course you you still need some kind of other camera as a backup just in case something happens um, but you know I, I have like two insta360 uh, and plus the the gimbal and the uh, samsung galaxy s7 I use that mainly as audio, but with the gimbal, it also becomes a camera. Um, that was my main. Uh, that was my main camera. Now that's my backup camera, and my Insta 360s. Uh, they're so small, I carry two of them. Uh, you know, they I kind of swap them because they are small. They, they're limited in battery, and uh, the files are very large as well. That's the other thing about it files are very large so you kind of have to uh, manage what you're trying to do so that's why I got two with the 64 gigabyte scan disk card the micro scan, scan disk card uh, yeah it makes uh, life at least post-production a lot easier in my opinion and so and I've been making a lot a lot of movies how you doing Good morning. So I've been making a lot, a lot of videos, and uh, yeah, it's it's so much fun. Um, I, I feel like I'm almost spending too much time behind the computer, but at the same time, I'm having fun doing it. Now, normally, normally I wouldn't uh, I wouldn't uh, spend that much time editing at all, because I always found it to be a pain in the neck because you're yeah, you have to like take so many takes and it's all produced if, you know with the insta360 camera it feels natural just to go out and do whatever you're doing you got the footage you got any footage that you might have missed you got footage that you wanted to get and in combination with the uh, app it's important to use the app because first of all the app does several things the app does do, has the flow state stabilization the other thing is the app also has direction. Uh, so when I talk about the front of the camera on the Insta360 and the back of the camera of the Insta360, it's important because when you do the app, the app literally, literally moves with you in the frontal direction. So uh, when I ride the bike, I set the camera, the Insta360 forward, so it goes like when I'm riding the bike and plus it has the 
gyro stabilization, the flow state stabilization, and you set that through on the iOS app. If you try to do that through the um, Insta360 Studio, uh, where you have the, whatever, what do you call, call them, timestamps, um, or, or time keys, or whatever, uh, it doesn't work that way. You have to constantly keep the direction that you want. So you, running it through the, I got the iPad, running it through the iPad, uh, you know, it, it, it helps a lot. It cuts out a lot of what I want to, it makes the editing way easier for me. Especially my style of shooting, which is typically a POV or point of, point of view style. And so, making my, my rounds here. Walking around with a gimbal and a camera, walking around my neighborhood like this. I don't know, it seems like uh, people act a little differently. And with me wearing uh, my buff and everything, I do carry a, I do carry a gun too. So anyways, um, so that's a huge advantage. I don't know if other 360 cameras will start doing this, but um, I usually download it through the iOS uh, app on my app, iPad and then set it for flow state stabilization. It already has gyro stabilization on it. I already calibrated that and uh, direction flow or uh, direction as in the, the front of the camera automatically points to where I want it to go and that way I don't have to like follow myself or follow the flow of uh, the video that I want it. It's just automatically in front of the camera is usually the front uh, where the direction follows. So in that sense, it's, it's, it helps. Not necessary, but it helps. And the other thing I, I noticed was uh, when you use the, when I use the uh, Insta360 Studio on the PC, that helps as well. It makes it more smoother. I don't use the uh, editing. I don't use editing on the on the iPad at all. Uh, I do all that in either initially uh, to get the shots that I want through the 360 degree footage. I use the uh, I use the Insta Insta 360 Studio on my PC. And after I get all the shots and the footage that I want, um, I export that, and then I have another uh, video editing software. So I take my A and the B roll, mix it in, maybe put a C roll, you know, the California roll in there, and then, you know, just change it out. I have three cameras, so I get three different possible perspectives, uh, possible, and then I use the Samsung Galaxy S7 as my audio, so most of, or any, any stereo capturing device, audio capturing device. Now, I'm doing some research into Ambisonics. I think it's called Ambisonics. I don't know if it's really worth it because that's only for 360. And the problem with 360 is that it's really gimmicky. I mean, it's for me, it seems to be gimmicky. Okay. And you know, the, the, uh, the thing about gimmicky kind of things is that, um, uh, you know, I, I, uh, I watch, I watch, uh, I watch, uh, I'm, I'm watching the uh, the water guy from the water company. He's turning on the uh, water to my neighbor. He's turning on the water to my neighbor here. So I guess someone's moving in soon. They got the water on or they're turning the water off. Probably turning the water on, most likely. So anyways, so eventually someone's going to be moving here soon, soon enough. Uh, so we'll, we'll see who our new neighbors are. Uh, it'll be interesting to see uh, what they think of me so far. Anyways, uh, I only got a couple more minutes. So, uh, anyways, anyways, uh, I guess that ends the video here. Anyways, I'll talk to you all later on the next episode here, uh, the walk along. See you later. Bye.